Lexington police are calling it unusual for the city, and today they addressed what has turned out to be a violent start to 2016. In the first 12 days of this year, 10 people have been shot in Lexington. Four of those shootings were fatal, including one last night in which a man who was found shot last outside a McDonald's restaurant. While police don't believe any of the murders are connected, they say the crimes do have some things in common. Hillary Thornton has the story first on Fox. Four murder scenes in just 12 days. It's an anomaly for Lexington. New Year's Day on Roosevelt Boulevard, 28-year-old Joseph McDowell shot and killed. The victim was contacted by someone and went to meet that individual. 48 hours later, 28-year-old Corinne White killed on Red Mile Road. The uh, victim and the suspect knew each other. Uh, we've made an arrest in that case. And nine days into the new year, Lexington's third murder as 18-year-old Caleb Hallett is shot on University Avenue. Visiting a high-risk area was known for illegal narcotics. And then the most recent shooting death, 23-year-old Timothy Brown Jr. My wife asks me what's going on and I tell her. No, oh, it's been another homicide. And so I'm starting to get the question from my wife. Well, what are you going to do about it? A question many are now asking as Commonwealth's attorney Ray Larson says, unfortunately, we are seeing that Lexington is not immune to the national uptick in the crime. Now, at this point, Lexington police say they do not believe any of the four murders are connected, including any acts of retaliation. They do, however, say they believe all those involved were in what they call high-risk situations. These aren't random acts. They are acts that are associated around risk behaviors. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton for the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. Also today, police announced five arrest warrants have been obtained for the murder of 18-year-old Caleb Hallett last weekend. The warrants are for three juveniles, along with 21-year-old Kenyon Hips and 18-year-old Marcus Smith. Two of the juveniles are in custody.